In today's video, I'm going to show you how to request a refund in PayPal. With that said, let's get right into it. The first thing you can see right here is that we are on PayPal.com already logged in. After doing that, you are going to find the transaction that you had and want to refund. Basically, you can find transactions either right here or under the activity section. Doesn't really matter. It's the same thing in the app as well. If you scroll and drag it from the left, you are going to find this activity section. Second of all, you are going to find a activity that you want to actually refund. For example, this amount right here has been actually refunded to me. But yeah, finding a transaction, say, for example, this one right here, I'm going to click on it and then it's going to open a whole nother section. As you can see in this section, I'm able to view every single important information. After doing that, I'm either going to have a refund button right here or report a problem, which is the same thing. But a refund is something that you can usually get with eBay, for example, if you are dealing with a seller. But since this is Namecheap, I'm just going to see report a problem. And this problem is going to be very directed to Namecheap themselves. I'm going to click on report a problem. Also, a small tip, you guys, is that please never request a refund only if you are sure that the service or product you have received is something that's not as described something that's totally different or something that has something in it broken or anything like that as you can see right here you will be prompted with this web big wig big web page don't be afraid of it all you have to find is this section i want to refund for some or all of these items in this order clicking on it result into opening this web page make sure to fill in the right information about it as it's very very important if you make any mistake regarding this information paypal will for sure punish you and even terminate your account choosing item category say if it's a repair installation financial product specify the service for example i'm just going to do installation for just an example purpose click on continue say what's the problem i haven't received the survive please please double check that you are choosing the right prop for example i cancel the service then click on continue again and choose the date you would like for example to cancel the service or how you would like to cancel it enter a cancellation number if it exists enter the amount that you are agreed to refund and then enter the date that you are supposed to receive the refund and that's basically it but if you are choosing another reason for like for example i haven't received the service you'll be able to enter a date for example let's say just for example purposes let's choose this date and the expected amount of refund i will do one door i'll click on continue would you like to contact the seller this is a big tip you guys please make sure to say yes you would like to contact the seller because the seller will probably come with a solution with you and it will be faster than paypal because PayPal is very, very slow and can take from 15 days all the way up to two months or even three months when it comes to refunds. With that said, you guys, this was how to receive a refund. Thanks for watching and goodbye.